Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of the respiratory system. We will help you understand why we need to breathe, what happens when we breathe, and how can we use the respiratory system to measure health or performance. Let's get started. The respiratory system is a series of organs that collects oxygen and gets rid of carbon dioxide, allowing us to breathe. The mechanics of breathing, or respiration, involve two key functions. Inspiration, which is the process of actively contracting respiratory muscles, like the diaphragm and the external intercostals, to move air into the body. And expiration, is the process of actively relaxing the respiratory muscles to move air out of the body. Let's take a look at this process in action. Air enters the body through the nose, which filters, warms and moistens the incoming air. It passes down through the pharynx and the larynx. Air then enters the trachea, which cleans warms and moistens the incoming air further and splits into two bronchi, one for each lung. The two bronchi will divide further into bronchioles, which subdivides further another 23 times. Surrounding the bronchioles are tiny air sacs called alveoli. There are approximately 600 million alveoli in each lung. It is here where the exchange of gases occur. In order for respiration to occur, the following processes must happen. Pulmonary ventilation, which is the continuous movement of air into and out of the lungs. External respiration, which is the exchange of oxygen from the lungs to the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood to the lungs and internal respiration, which is the exchange of oxygen from the blood to the tissue cells and carbon dioxide from the tissue cells to the blood. However, abnormal breathing processes such as hyperventilation can be caused by an increase in pulmonary ventilation that exceeds oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide removal resulting in overbreathing. The whole respiratory process relies on the body's ability to diffuse gases. A difference in partial pressure of gases in the alveoli and blood create pressure gradients. These pressure gradients lead to diffusion as gas moves from a region of high partial pressure to a region of low partial pressure. This is referred to as the oxygen cascade. We can use some respiratory calculations to monitor an individual's health or performance. Total lung capacity is the lung volume after maximum inspiration. Inspiratory reserve volume is the maximum inspiration at the end of tidal inspiration. Tidal volume is the volume inspired or expired per breath. Functional residual capacity is the volume in the lungs after tidal expiration. Vital capacity is the maximum volume expired after maximum inspiration. Residual volume is the volume in the lungs after maximum expiration. Inspiratory capacity is the maximum volume inspired after maximum expiration and expiratory reserve volume, which is the maximum expiration at the end of tidal expiration. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.